Get the fuck up out of here. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked up brick in my bed. You bullshitting me. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it, I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him! You okay, homie? What happened? Guy bounced my wife is what happened. Which guy? The guy I'm paying to teach her tennis. The tennis coach? Oh, that's fucked up, man. Who is dudes, homie? You know, back in the hood, man, we gotta watch out for the hell, man, dog. Yeah, I'm a cook old a snob and a fucking good shit. He ain't gonna make a fool of me again. He ain't slipping this noose. Man, I think we lost his ass. He lives somewhere up in the canyon. We'll find him. How you catch him? It wasn't hard. They were in my house, in my own bed, on top of each other. Man, this dude got some explaining to do. The whole thing was kind of self-explanatory, Frank. And what we're about to do won't need much context either. Shit, let's go coast the shit out this motherfucker. this track here. Hey, you know one of these fucking out? Yeah, keep your eye out. You left this car, check it out. Little bricks up there, look. Oh, shit, Cole's doing all right for himself. Hey, asshole! You ran off before we could settle our debts. Michael, what? You got the wrong idea, man. Hey, think the world owes him a living. There's a winch in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I comped the session, bud. Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud. I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand. Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. But sometimes it's gotta get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand. On your face! Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud. We hooked up, man. You come into my house, and we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit. Well, oh, hey, wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Fuck! Here we go! See what happens! Told you are probably crazy! <laughs> oh shit! You see this shit, dog? Man, fucking drop it! Man, homie ain't grubbing outside tonight, dog! Oh hell yeah, homie! You know what time it is! Are you fucking serious, nigga?
Mr. DeSanta, what the hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. Give me a phone. You! You're a dead one! Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo, give you green light! Oh, I'm scared, lady. Just fucking terrified. <laughs> green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo! Fuck you! Whoa! Oh, Martin? Martin Madrasso? That's what she said. Damn, dude's a kingpin, homie. And you better hope. I ain't hoping anything. Chick was hysterical. Chill out. Shit, we got some heavies on us, homie. Are you kidding me? Yeah, can you do something? I'll try, man. Try. You got a piece? You think you can handle these guys? Taking some score? There was a time, that was all I did. Shit, well, you know, I could tell you some shit, too. Yeah, like what? About this city I was born and raised in. Whew. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea. Hello. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. 
I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. Fuck you too, Mike B. Ah! Stay out of my fucking way! Oh! This is oh, too fuck. much! Holy fucking God! Oh, hello! How are you? Oh, shit! Are we finished? Whoa. Had enough? Doc, hey. Michael, I'm looking through my appointment book and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. Shit! They have a life, but then you took the life out of the Doctor, I like those. Most women love that. I love it. You get on top of a woman, you crush her sternum, you crush her neck. You put your hand around her neck, and you give it to her and take it away. You give it life, and you take it life away at the same time. It's two things going on here. Shit. Joking, but you give it life and feeling. Squeezing the love into them, but squeezing that life out. It's an in and an out motion going on here. You have just played the choking game. Hello. That's health. That's integration. That's what we are here to do every morning before we get started we always um, that's a shock attack hey, shock. yes dr ray what i just say um what i just say one more time um what i just say um what dr. i just say. help me he took my wallet what did I you gotta help me bro he's got my wallet don't be a dick man help me out here no that just sound me banging you Okay. That's the sound of me attacking your chakra. We bring on Western street knowledge and Eastern spirituality together in a unified approach to contemporary integration. Such that the mind and body are one. Such that the ignorance and knowledge are one. Such that the sense and the nonsense be one. When you put sense and nonsense together, what the hell do you get? Man, what's your problem? Why you fucking with me?
was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <coughs> I'd offer you something, but you would... This interview at this tech. Yup, that's as youthful as you're gonna get. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Bye. Think fake, but they feel real. She got the bar. Michael? I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you looked the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine.
turning consultant when we release. Consulting consulters. You know, a consultancy, consultancy, consultancy. I'm kind of big on the conference tour already. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Really? The brief was for a relaxed, creative individual, the kind that preferred a beanbag over a real chair, but if you're so... Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS, I... This is a filthy hard drive, bro. Uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups, see what I can do. Your son codes? Start them early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. After that, it's just a hack job. Might I tempt you with some organic chow or a fair trade java? They gotta send me on another one of those seminars. Scanning. Wow, your job is actually kind of stressful too, ain't it? Give me a second, will ya? And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces... That's a Again, you're my guy. Bye now. Sit, 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 sit. Foot bang, dig fast. Ow! Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh. Some a-hole drank my effing hemp milk. There was a totally non-passive aggressive note on it. Hold on, I'll buzz you out. in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry. The phone is rigged. Hey, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey. I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Ah, whatever you say. Enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are so lame! Out. No! The finals continue with Shemail Bob. You guys are going to the final. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Hey, this company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Caraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data 
in the public domain and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years. That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary. Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24-7. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. We went to the guy. Oh, hold on a second. I think someone's trying to dock with me. Hello? Oh! Security. Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 no. Whoa! I was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trade. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. What exactly is you? me that. Not you, the Dieter Sachs door detective. There's been a misunderstanding. I need you to help clear it up. Oh, now you want me. All right, I'm coming. The one phone call rule is for real police. You worthless turd. Everyone deserves part of the American dream. But how do you get your part of the pie? We're the Economic Recovery Group. We'll show you how to get what you deserve as an American by taking a disability. You goofing off. You become a Native American tribe and open a casino in your garage. Now she's easy. It's the government's job to bail you out and give you the lifestyle you deserve. What is this bullshit? Someone else should. The Economic Recovery Group. Call today and we'll help your government help you. Breaking news. Jane Morris has had blown off on TV. The last running a muck in the desert. Mary. Jane Morris, Life Invader CEO and controversial champion of openness and data mining, had his data mined all over the stage when his head was blown off while giving a keynote speech to shareholders at the Vinewood Bowl. Mr. Norris was demonstrating the new Life Invader telephone. Killing him in. 
instantly. Police are unsure of the motives. Life Invader shares are down on the news. Notorious outlaw motorcycle gang, The Lost, have taken up residence in the Alamo Sea and are now terrorizing the impoverished desert community. Steve Pretoria is on the scene. For years, The Lost Motorcycle Gang were involved in a non-stop war with the Angels of Death, raging across several states. Then came 2008's bloody civil war that seemed to wipe them out. Now it appears they are back, and worse than ever. The gang is believed to be heavily involved in illegal arms dealing and the manufacture and distribution of crystal methamphetamine. Sound effect. The world's most exclusive courier service unveiled its U.S. operations yesterday. Meriwether announced their famed courier service is coming to these shores. The service transports art, artifacts, and other precious perishables for museums, collectors, and individuals trying to avoid taxes. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. From the home of Real Rock, Vinewood, San Andreas, it's Vinewood Boulevard Radio.
Why don't we just move up north somewhere more sane? We'll go into the mountains and make some new friends. I'll tell you what keeps us here. Love. Love and this music. Los Santos Rock Radio. I said get off me, you stupid bastard! Easy there! I'm saying you never I told you, girl. she's a, a Hey, hey! Yeah, Stop okay. right now! Hit the gas! Let's go! Let's go, Michael! Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Get us out of here! I'm on top of it. We're already airborne and will engage. Come on, come on! Relax, I got this. I guess we're not swapping insurance details. Hello? No seatbelt? I do not want to go to prison. I'm on top of it. You trying to kill me back here? Drive, Michael! Chill out. It's under control. Gone? Of course they're gone. Who are you talking to? Come on, I'll take you back to the house. Don't say it! What? Then I have everything I want, so why am I stealing? Oh, my lips are sealed. Because if you say that, I'll say the same to you. I'm not saying anything. I'm just doing my best to keep us out of jail. Great! Real inconspicuous! I mean, who are you to judge me? Oh, I'm not judging? No, not at all. You're loving this, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Risking prison, getting shot at, love, love, big love. Can we drive home, please? So this is what it's like to be you. Uh, not really, honey. See, I'm a semi-successful crook. You're a bit of a failure, but hey, kudos for trying. Not that successful if you're in witness protection. Well, I've got an idea. Why don't we see what Agent Dave and the FIB think of this Lovers on the Run act? Are we going home? You know, I'm sort of thankful for this. Thankful? This is the worst day of my life. Get rid of the car, Michael. It can't stay in the driveway. Oh, and yeah, thank you. Yeah, who's this? It's Ricky from Life Invader. I know you're the bro who deactivated Jay, bro. <laughs> oh, I have no idea what you're talking about, pal. What you do is your business, bro. Anyway, Jay really got a big head once people started calling him a god. Guess you proved he wasn't one. They reintegrated my team in Burundi after the design got signed off. And now, my shares ain't worth dick. Sorry about that. I need work. And I thought maybe you could provide. I mean, I'm smart enough to track you down, aren't I? I guess you are. Hey, I'll be in touch if anything comes up. 